Hello everyone. Have you ever felt that you made a drastic mistake during an interview because of which you were rejected? Or have you ever felt that you were not able to give the answers during an interview, but when you came out of the interview room, all those answers started coming back in your mind. But till then, you had forgotten them and you were fumbling in front of the employer. I'm sure most of us go through this kind of a situation some point or the other in their lives. And today, I'm going to very quickly tell you some of the ways in which you can deal with these situations. Number one, go for an interview with preparation. Now, what does that mean? We all know that there are some very common questions which are asked in interviews. So one question is, tell me something about yourself. Other could be, tell me something about your strengths and or your weaknesses. Tell me, why should I hire you? Or where do you see yourself in five years from now? Or show me how you will sell this pen on my table if it happens to be a sales job. So there are some questions which are very standard and which are always asked in the interviews and we can always go with the preparation. So the first rule is go with preparation. The preparation means prepare a script of your answers, write them down and then sit in front of a mirror and prepare, memorize, rehearsal. Rehearsal is the key. So rehearse in front of a mirror. Point number two. We are nervous when we meet an interviewer. We forget all those answers that we had prepared. That's because the confidence in ourselves is low. The one way to enhance this confidence is to feel good about yourself. Now, how do you feel good about yourself? Have you ever taken out some time in a month or in a week where you could sit down and think through your past achievements or your skills and abilities which you think could make a difference to your career, to your life and to the lives of others? I've seen that many of many a times people underestimate their own skills and abilities. Sometimes they even fail to notice some of their past achievements or um, some of the things that they can do well. But they don't think that it, those capabilities are important. I'll give you an example. I was once um, uh, in a career counseling session. I was helping students to make their resumes and I was uh, uh, guiding them on the future opportunities that they could have. And these were the students from um, an apparel uh, manufacturing um, and uh, training institute. I asked this um, uh, young boy who was about 19 years old and I said, have you ever done any internship with any of the uh, com apparel companies in the past. He said, no, I'm an absolute fresher. I've never done that. And uh, upon further discussion, I said, how do you spend time uh, in the evenings you know, when you go back home? And he said that his father worked for an apparel manufacturing company and his father used to bring work home and he used to help his father in designing, cutting and stitching of those garments. And he told me, to my surprise, that he was doing it for the last five years, which means ever since he was 14, he was doing that. And then I told him, I said, do you know, you have an amazing experience at such a young age. You know your profession very well and you're just 19. You're just in the college. Did you ever realize that you have work experience? Of course, it's not something that uh, you can officially mention, uh, but 
there is some a, a lot of learning that has got gone into you so the point i'm trying to make here is that we a lot of times underestimate our own abilities we ignore them we take them casually don't we come out sometimes from the interview uh, thinking that oh god i was a uh, i i had won some medals in football you know um, i had headed my uh, football team in college but i forgot to mention that we don't realize that it's very important to mention all these things because a thing like this talks about your personality talks about your leadership skills and you simply forgot you didn't even put it in your resume so there are many skills abilities personality traits in you which are worthwhile and which can make a difference to your career and to the people around you but you just do not have to ignore them so think through i'll give you another example i was in one of the remote villages of haryana where i was uh, offering career guidance to the students of a polytechnic and i asked this uh, the same question to one student i said have you done any internship he said no i am an absolute fresher then one of his classmates uh, he said ma'am do you know you know he was joking and he said ma'am do you know he sells milk and i asked this guy what is he saying and he said that his father had a dairy and he used to go out every morning uh, distribute milk to the customers and then come to the college i said you already have um the experience of selling products and you're saying that you don't have work experience you're already working do you know that have you ever had any conflict with any one of your customers while delivering the milk he said yes that happens quite often and uh, i said were you able to resolve it he said yes i always do that he was very confident and cool about it and um, i said look do you know that you already have exposure to client handling you already developed your interpersonal skills to the extent that you are able to handle the conflicts that you have with your customers and do you know how valuable this experience is for your prospective employer because if you are working with a company you have to either deal with external customers or you have to deal with internal customers so in either of these cases this particular quality of yours is going to help you even if you start your own business tomorrow you already know how to deal with your employees you already know how to deal with your customers so point number 2 take some time to think about you to think about your abilities don't underestimate them and these in turn will help you feel good about yourself under no circumstances do not blame yourself if you are rejected in an interview because the reason may not be inside you most of the times the reason is outside you and you don't know about it so all your life you keep thinking that something went wrong that time because of which i lost an opportunity i think i did something wrong but you don't always do something wrong so go with the preparation and feel good about yourself with that goodbye